Today I'm gonna be exposing myself for the wimp that I am. Hello and welcome to the Click Click. Happy Thursday, I'm your guest this week on the channel. My name is Mariah and my channel will be linked down below if you wanna subscribe. I really think that you should. This week's theme is exposing yourself and I have done some pretty embarrassing things in my day. So I thought that I would tell you just a little story about one of the times that I have embarrassed myself. So this story goes all the way back to eighth grade. Um, I was 14, I was just going into ninth grade. It was kind of the transition between becoming an eighth grader and a ninth grader. You're trying to establish yourself and make yourself known, you know? I don't know. So one night, it was like a Friday night, I was hanging out with one of my friends who was a year older than me, so she was in grade nine. She was one of the popular kids. She was kind of my in into high school. I was trying to be cool, you know, acting tough. We were hanging out with a bunch of older people too. Um, some people who were the cool kids um, in my grade and then some a year older. So these kids were like the kids to hang out with. They were the cool kids, even though five years later they're not doing anything with their lives. Anyways, so I was hanging out with these cool kids, trying to establish myself in... Anyway, so it was nighttime, it was Friday night, we were all hanging out behind the school because that's where all the cool kids hung out. And one of these older kids pulled out some pot. And I'm like, oh shit, what do I do? I'm not ready for this, I can't handle this, I'm an eighth grader, I don't do anything. Because my normal hangout group wasn't the cool kids group. I was like semi known, but I wasn't like known for being a bad kid. So when this guy pulled out some pot, I was like, oh my god, I have to be cool, I'll do it, I have to do it, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I have to do this, this is like really important, like, I have to do this. And I was like in my head freaking out because my first time ever smoking weed is gonna be with a bunch of people that I don't know, and I was freaking out, like I was young. But nowadays, eighth graders are like partying and like having sex and like being all crazy, and I don't understand it, but whatever. So anyways, he pulls it out. And I'm like ready. I'm preparing myself in my head. I was like, oh my god, like I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna, I'm, I can't cough. I have to be cool. Like these people have to know that I am one of them. So it's finally like coming around. Everything's set up. They rolled it. Blah, blah, blah. It's all good. And it's like coming around. And there's like seven of us. So it's like, it's taking its time. Puff, puff, pass, you know. And it finally gets to like three people away from me. And I was like, I can't do this, this is crazy. So I pretend to get a text from my mom and I'm like, oh, you know what guys? Like I really have to go, my mom is like, my mom's going out, I have to babysit, sorry. Like I really wanted to do it, but I have to go. And then I like ran home <laughs> by myself. For some reason I thought that these kids would follow me and they would know where I lived. So I booked it after they couldn't see me anymore and I ran home and I was freaking out and I was breathing heavy and I was like tears in my eyes and I come home, my mom's sitting on the couch and she's like, why aren't you hanging out with your friend? And I was like, mom, I have to tell you something. And she's like, oh my God, what happened? Like, did you die? Like, did you get, like, are you getting murdered? Did you get kidnapped? Like, and I was like, my friends are trying to pressure me into smoking weed. And I like burst into tears and I was crying and freaking out to my mom because I thought she would hate me. And she was like laughing. She was basically making fun of me like I was some stupid goody two shoes kid. And then less than a year later I tried it and it was literally no big deal. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't let yourself get peer pressured and if you do, then don't go home crying to your mom. I don't know. So that is it for my story. Sorry it was kind of short. I don't know. I couldn't really think of anything to do for exposing myself. If you liked this video, then make sure to check out my main channel. It'll be linked down below. And also subscribe to the collab channel because people are pretty cool in it. And I'm sure they're going to do great things. So, so again, thank you for having me on your collab channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.